You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. Today is also the first day of Lent. Today is Ash Wednesday. Now, my challenge for you today, Sprouts, is to, if at all possible, attend an Ash Wednesday service to go to Holy Mass. If you remember, there are many beautiful and symbolic things that you will see at an Ash Wednesday service, and we're going to talk about a few of them. So first of all, when you walk into the church, you're going to notice that the colors have changed. Yesterday, we were in ordinary time, which we mark with the color green, but today we have entered Lent, and Lent we mark with the color purple. Lent is a time of prayer fasting, and repentance. So we symbolize that with the color purple. Now I want to talk about one thing that happens at the Ash Wednesday service, a remarkable part of mass that we only do once a year on Ash Wednesday, and I bet you know what it is. It is receiving ashes on our forehead. Now, why do we do this? So just to remind you of how this all happens, in the first half of Mass, Father will bless the ashes, and then he will have several people from the congregation come up and help distribute the ashes. Everybody, no matter how old you are, whether you've received your first communion or not, even babies, we all approach and either the priest or one of the ministers will put the ashes on their thumb. And then they will raise their thumb to our forehead, trace a cross on our forehead with the black ashes, and they will say these words. They will say, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Now that sounds a little bit depressing, doesn't it? It's saying, remember that you came from nothing and that one day you will once again be nothing. Now, if we think back on this, we know that God created Adam out of nothing and that once we die and we are buried, our bodies will once again become nothing. So that's depressing, but that's not the end of the story Notice they didn't just put a black smudge on your face. They didn't just wipe their hands and make a mess of your face. They put a cross. They put a cross on your head with ashes. So now what does this mean? Well, it means simply this. It means remember that you are a sinner. Remember that God created you, that compared to God, you are nothing. And yet... God loved you enough to send his only begotten son, his beloved only son to earth so that he could be like you, set an example for you, and ultimately die on the cross for you. So a cross on your forehead made out of ashes is the most ridiculous contradiction. It is a reminder that you are nothing. But yet to God, you are everything. You are nothing. You're just one person. When you die, your body will become nothing. But to God, the spirit that dwells inside of you, the spirit that he created and knew and breathed life into before you were born, that that is everything to God, that he was willing to suffer and die out of love for that. Pretty amazing, right? When we go to Ash Wednesday, when we form that line, and maybe you're not even paying attention, but when you receive that cross on your forehead, remember that the world sees you as nothing, that in the whole big scheme of things, you're nothing. But to God, you are everything. It also means that you are a sinner, 
but you are a sinner who has a savior that God came into our brokenness, came into our humanity, took on a body himself, just like ours. And he offered it up for love of us. That is the message of Ash Wednesday. So once again, Sprouts, I challenge you, go to Holy Mass, receive your ashes, listen to those words. Remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. But then when you're done, go look in the mirror and see that cross on your forehead and say to yourself, I am nothing but to God, I am everything. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. We are excited to announce that the Domestic Church Project app is open and enrolling families all week long. So if you would like to add one of our amazing whole family programs to your Lent, including our audio version of the Jesus Tree, we encourage you to come and join us. There is so much in this app for Catholic parents and their whole families. We have thriving small groups, formation for parents on Catholic social teaching, and so much more. To learn all about our app and to join us, simply check the notes for this podcast episode. Mm